Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be discussing with you the top 10 craziest ways drug dealers smuggle drugs into the world. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to this channel, and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can have access to our unlimited videos and be notified whenever we release a new video. Thanks. It's simply a matter of supply and demand. No matter how much denial you swim in, there will always be people who want to use certain narcotics. And there will always be those attempting to sell those drugs at a much greater price and of lesser quality. This has resulted in some odd smuggling stories, techniques that make you question why these folks aren't putting their creativity to better use elsewhere. Perhaps they're just searching for a good time. In any case, here are some of the oddest methods people have attempted to smuggle drugs and sometimes succeeded, but also failed. Here are the top 10 craziest ways drug dealers smuggle drugs in the world currently. Number 2 and 1 are so surprising, so kindly stay tuned till the end of this video. Number 10. Filling the speakers of imaginary rock bands with hash. In the 1970s, Howard Marks, sometimes known as Mr. Nice, smuggled approximately 30 tons of marijuana worldwide, making him possibly the world's most well-known dope smuggler. This Oxford nuclear physicist fictionalized rock bands in his writings using their speakers and other equipment, filling them with large amounts of marijuana. Read his book, it's fantastic. Number 9 hiding cocaine under the foreskin of the penis. This might not have been a very successful smuggling, but points to the person for attempting. A man named Antoine Banks, who was heading to prison for possession of certain substances, tried to sneak in a bit of packet of cocaine by hiding it between his penis, foreskin, and head. These men don't know where to draw the line, pun intended. Number 8. Selling heroin disguised as lollipops. The frustratingly persistent DEA Drug Enforcement Agency uncovered some sweets with an extra kick in New York. A seizure of lollipops with loose wrappers at the airport turned out to be a total of 520 grams of mid-grade heroin. It supposedly happened in the past as well with cocaine. Number 7. 20 kg of cocaine were smuggled in tiny screws. Small triumphs can lead to significant rewards, precisely what a Peruvian man traveling from Buenos Aires to South Africa was looking for. Regrettably, officers from Argentina's Federal Public Revenue Administration discovered the 20 kg of cocaine he was smuggling hidden in tiny screws. Number 6 using the coffins of deceased American soldiers to carry heroin. If you've seen the film American Gangster, you'll understand what I'm talking about. In the 1960s and 70s, Frank Lucas, the notorious heroin dealer, smuggled a large percentage of the drugs and pellets beneath the coffins of deceased troops returning home. Number 5. Smuggling Ecstasy in the Form of a Mr. Potato Head Toy Although the circumstances surrounding this are unknown, it appears that someone attempted to smuggle 300 grams of ecstasy inside a Mr. Potato Head toy. He'd have a better chance of getting into Woody's cap. Number 4 cocaine smuggled into clams. When Customs and Border Protection officers searched David Pasangre Vaquiz's luggage at Washington Dulles International Airport in 2011, they discovered more than 150 grams of cocaine hidden inside 15 clams that had all been sealed shut to conceal their payload. In this room, I can smell a pearl of wisdom joke. Number 3 a total of five tons of marijuana was smuggled into the furniture. It was all about the east coast of England in 2005. Smugglers hid five friggin' tons of marijuana worth 12 million pounds inside household items such as mattresses and sofas. They tried to smuggle it through a port, but were apprehended. Number 2 Using a catapult to hurl narcotics across the border Mexican drug traffickers went medieval in 2011, launching a drug catapult over the border fence to release massive amounts of marijuana. The precision of the targeting mechanism is questionable, but we assume that the operators on the opposing side were waiting to seize the marijuana payloads wherever they landed. Number 1. The use of a tunnel to deliver pharmaceuticals. More than 100 tunnels were discovered during the 1990s, many of which originate in Tijuana, Mexico and led to San Diego, California. Smugglers can use these tunnels to transfer drugs, people, money, and weapons across the border. Some tunnels are so advanced that they feature climate control and an intricate electrical system. We have come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we are sure you will like to watch more related videos from our channel. 
So stay tuned for more of our videos and don't forget to follow, like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when we release a new video about more exciting and unique updates. Check out the playlist of our top 10 videos, top 10 most expensive luxury RVs, most expensive lawsuit settlements ever, and top 10 dumbest celebrity appearances in video games. We'll see you in the following video. Take care.